Today we're going to learn how to clear double exposure effect in Affinity Photo on our iPads. Uh, to start, we need to get two images and we're going to go to um, pixabay.com, uh, one, a portrait, find a nice, clean, good resolution image. Um, I'm going to select this one here. When you want to download it, I will ask you a couple of questions. Um, the default resolution is good for our purpose. Then you need a port, uh, landscape. I'm going to select forest and here um, you can tell a story. So I will select um, the landscape with the wolves um, and I'm going to download that too. It will download it to my file folder, the file app on my uh, iPad. To open the file, I will go to the file folder and from there I select to open it in Affinity Photo. Here you change it to your selection persona and from the selection persona you want to select Smart Selection Brush Tool. Smart Selection Brush Tool will make it available for you to select the areas you want. Make sure you select inside the portrait and make sure you do a good job with selection because I missed the eye in the middle and no matter how hard I work um, with the Refine tool, I won't be able to make it a clear selection. So it's best to start over to undo its double tap. And here I am doing my selection one more time. And when I'm happy with my selection, I will click on Refine at the bottom. And the Refine will help me clean my selection. All the little pieces of hair that I missed, I can just go over with the brush and you can control your brush um, and it will help me to um, have a nice, clean, professional selection. When you're happy uh, with your selection, you need to go and turn this into a mask. So at the bottom, you click and say new layer with mask, and it will automatically create a new layer with mask for you. So we see the checkered background. That means that the background is now transparency. You can duplicate this mask layer uh, multiple times we have to go back in the persona click on affinity sign and it will take let us edit and duplicate the layer and we're going to create a fill layer and uh, pour in uh, some nice neutral gray there so this is now the photo separated on the background now i have to bring in um, the landscape you see that you can create multiple um, layers um, here, but you want to bring in the landscape. The trick is that when you say place the image, it gives you for a short period, it gives you a message and you have to make sure you click on that message and use um, your fingers to bring in, to place the image. And I am going to move the image a little bit and place it where I would like it to be and um, this is a good location you can also play with the opacity of layers so you can see it best but I know this is going to look good so that's fine and then I'll grab one of the layers uh, of the mask layer which was the portrait and I'm going to place it on top of my landscape so you see this is what I have right now but I want to see some of her face too so I will go to my landscape image and for layer options, um, you have multiple options that you can select. And I kind of scroll through them and um, I selected um, the one that I really like. This one, I think it's something that um, will work best for me. Now I'm going to get my fill layer and place it at the very top. So I just click or tap with my finger and I drag it to the very top. And again, I'm gonna go to layer options for the fill layer. 
and I'm going to change it from normal um, to an effect that will work for um, this specific image. In this case, color is working nicely and I'm very happy with this piece and I'm ready to export a JPEG. So I'm going to go export and uh, by default, um, FNT Photo will create PNG for you. You can change it to anything you want. You can see on the top, there are all five formats there, PSD, um, anything you want, and I save a JPEG. Uh, remember to always go back to your original file in Affinity and make sure you save it because this is a working file and it's not saved in the Affinity format. If you don't and your iPad crashes, you might lose your original file. All right now I'm going to save the JPEG, which is not the working file, uh, but it's a good file for viewing. Uh, back into my downloads um, on my file folder that's easier for me to manage at this point and um, it's saved and if i want to go and take a look at it i go back to my ipad i go to my file folder and right there um, i can see that my files in my files folder my work is is there